Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by the garden today. I just didn't want to go over a little video on my corn because we're, we've been getting some corn earworms. Now, corn earworms are from moths. And what the moths do, this is my Silver Queen hybrid corn. And I found some moths in here yesterday. You can see they eat the inside of the plant. And I took by hand, I took out the worm that was in there. Now what happens is the moths, I'm not sure what type of moth it is, but a lot of moths tend to lay larvae, larva, their eggs inside the corn silks. Now these are corn earworms, cabbage loopers. This stuff just helps against everything. What I use is BT Worm and Caterpillar Killer. It's a um, bacillus thuricide spray. It has bacillus thuricide in it, which is a really good preventative organic pre pesticide preventative in the garden. And the way you use it, you can use it on all kinds of vegetables, is one tablespoon per gallon of water in your hand sprayer. And then you can go ahead and spray all the foliage of your leaves. Make sure you get in the middle of the silks because that's where they like to hide. And I actually treated with high pressure hose. So I took the high pressure from the hose and I took my, my little corn without damaging it and I held this part and I sprayed the other side in there with the sprayer because I wanted that pressure to get any eggs and stuff out of there. You could see the little eggs that were in there yesterday. So one thing I do is I spray all my foliage at one tablespoon per gallon of water, spray all the foliage and then I treat around the container because they're, they're also going to be in the container most likely. So you definitely want to treat around, especially if you're spraying the foliage off like I did with the high pressure hose first to get them off of there. Picking them off is the best way to get them out of there. You can just pick them off with your hand. But we're also going to treat all this soil around it. We're going to soak this uh, container all the way through with the organic neem oil right there. It's like a neem oil. So I use regular Garden Safe brand neem oil for pests and stuff like that, aphids, spider mites, things like that. But this is um, from Garden Safe brand. It's like it's not neem oil per se, but it's kind of like neem oil. They bite into the uh, leaves and they don't like it. They just go ahead and move it on over. They don't like the, it doesn't kill them. It kills the larvae, it kills the eggs, but it doesn't kill the caterpillars themselves. They just take a bite of the leaf or the moth and, and they don't like it, so they go away. Now, I like using this because it's organic and it's safe around you, your pets, and it's safe for the environment. There's no chemicals going into the ground. And all you do is treat on a preventative once every five to seven days, pretty consistently, especially when you're seeing them active. Now, if you treat beforehand, before you see signs of this, it, it really won't work because it only works if you actually treat when you're seeing those caterpillars. And you can see we have a lot of high grass back here because I'm redoing my garden. We have a lot of uh, space back here that we freed up because we're growing a lot under the shade cloth in the front there. We got peppers next to them so we want to make sure these peppers don't get hit anymore because they've been getting hit with just caterpillars and fungus. You can see they're chewing the leaves apart on my peppers here and they should be a lot bigger than they are. So I hope this video helps you guys in the best way possible to take care of your corn and prevent them corn earworms. They're really pesky things to get and if you notice the inner silks you know of your corn starting to get eaten away in there that is a big big sign that you have that corn earworm and they're very very destructive very fast to the plant and it can kill the inside of the plant they'll just eat it in there and it won't grow anymore so i hope this video helps you guys if you have any questions let me know i'm always here for you and i'd love to help you in any way i can thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you next time out in the garden Bye bye